Hello everyone, so I'm going to be showing you how to make a say command using Discord Bot Studio. So this is useful if you want to type something out in chat and then have the bot just send that exact message. Um, and this is useful if you want to have the bot say certain announcements or things um, without having to actually show what, what you're typing in the command. So I started by just making a command and I called it say. And then we're just going to need to create two responses. The first is a variable type response because we want to store the message that the bot should say back. So I'll just say, give that a name and then I'll connect it to the command. So now if I open this, we need to give the variable a name. I'll just call it said message. And then this is obviously going to be text since it's like, um, yeah, whatever message you want the bot to say. I'll leave it as a temporary variable type that doesn't really matter for this context. And then parameter number, this is important. I'm gonna be using zero. Um, and if you read the little hint here, it tells you type zero to take all the text after the command. So basically if I type uh, exclamation say, and then a message afterwards, this is gonna store everything after say um, into this variable. So then I'll save the response and then we just need one more response. Um, this one's a message, and this is just gonna be the bot sending sending that variable uh, that we just stored. So I'll just say bot says message. And then we can connect this one as well. Um, for the channel to begin with, I'll just go for the command channel and I'll use the ID. So this is gonna be sending it back to the channel that the command is used in and then here for response message text if we click insert variable here and we go to the your variables area we can see that this said message variable which we just created is available here and then i'll just insert that so the response message text is just going to be whatever we put after the exclamation say command so i'll save that as well I can come back and I'll start my bot. Uh, bot's online, that's good. And so I'll just say, say this is a tutorial video. You can see the bot comes back with, this is a tutorial video. So this is fine and this works great. Um, but I think one of the big applications for say is having the bot send it in a different channel than where you've typed the command. So for example, you can type the command in a private channel and then have the bot say something to the server in a public channel. So if I wanna type something in this support channel, for example, and have it send a general, um, if I want it to default to general, we'll just go back to the commands and we'll edit this send message response. And instead of taking the command channel, we can just hard code in the value general and it's gonna send it to that channel instead. So I'll come back and start the bot again. Now if I type, say, this is coming from support, you can see we have a new message in the general channel and that's coming from the bot, this is coming from support. So that's pretty much it. Say command's pretty straightforward, there's not a lot to it. Um, there should be more tutorials coming soon and, and feel free to join the Discord server if you need help with this.